In this lesson, I'll show you how to graph polar equations using symmetry. And specifically, we'll look at equations that produce lemniscate curves. The graph of r squared is equal to a squared times sine 2 theta and r squared is equal to a squared times cosine 2 theta, where a cannot equal to 0, are called lemniscates. And if you're familiar with the infinity symbol, that's exactly what they are. And one thing that's interesting about lemniscate curves is that they're symmetrical about the polar axis, the vertical axis, and the origin. That being said, the question reads, check for symmetry and then graph the polar equations. As I mentioned, for any lemniscate type of equation, such as this one, the test will pass for each of these. However, I want to prove it to you. Our equation is r squared is equal to 4 cosine 2 theta. If I replace negative theta into here, changing the angle to negative will not change the output. So this passes the test. If you replace theta with negative theta and r with negative r, you'll end up with something like this, where you have negative r squared is equal to 4 cosine negative 2 theta. This part will remain the same, and this part will also remain the same. And finally, replacing only r with negative r, negative r to the power of 2 will give you a positive r value, r squared. So it doesn't change for this either. That being said, let's go ahead and fill in this table. If I replace 0 into my equation, and make sure that your calculator is in radians, I have 4 times cosine 2 times 0 is 0. You end up with 4. Now you have r squared is equal to 4, square rooting both sides, you get plus minus 2. Let's see what happens at pi over 6. 2 times pi over 6, you get 2, square rooting this, you have 1.4. 1 1.4 1 .4 plus minus. Let's see what happens at pi over 3. Once again, 4 times cosine, 2 times pi over 3, and we get negative 2. You can't square root a negative number and get real values, so it does not exist here. And the same case with this one and this one, and you can prove that with your calculator. You won't get an output. 5 pi over 6 will give you plus minus 1.4, and this will give you plus minus 2. Now we don't have enough points here to confidently graph this. What you can do is find out what happens at pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. So at pi over 4, let's use our calculator, we'll end up with 0. The square root of 0 is 0. And the same thing at 3 pi over 4, we get 0. The more points you have, the more confident you are when you graph. Starting with this point, we're at 0 and plus minus 2. Remember that a negative radius means that the point is shooting in the opposite direction. So at 0, we have a point over here and a point over here. Next, we have pi over 6, and the radius is plus minus 1.4. Pi over 6 is this ray, and plus minus 1.4 is a little more than the first ring, just in between. And negative 1.4 should be over here. At pi over 4, it's 0. It's pi over 4. We have a point here. This will connect, and so will this. And since we have symmetry everywhere, focusing on the polar axis, you'll have something that looks identical to this and identical to this part of the curve. Putting a mirror down the vertical axis also shows symmetry and putting a mirror along this part also shows symmetry. And there you have it. That is how to graph polar equations using symmetry.